what we're finding is that some of these medications aren't what they're really buying. A warning tonight from the Drug Enforcement Agency. Counterfeit prescription pills from Mexico are killing Americans. The DEA saying that drug cartels are making these pills laced with fentanyl in large quantities and sending them right here to the United States. The synthetic opioid can be deadly even in small amounts. Our Cam Eppinger is joining us now with the dangers of the drug and how dealers are using it to profit off of the opioid crisis. Cam. Heather and Anthony, the DEA says these poisonous pills are made to look like the real thing, but in fact they can be deadly, containing lethal doses of fentanyl. Special Agent Michael Dubé with the Drug Enforcement Administration has a warning for you. What we're finding is that some of these medications aren't what they're really buying. Counterfeit pain pills like the ones you see here have made their way to the U.S. from Mexico. They're not only fake, but Dubé says they contain fentanyl similar to heroin, but 50 times stronger. The biggest side effect is death. After sampling pills seized this year from January to March, the DEA found that 27% contained potentially lethal doses of fentanyl. A lethal dose is considered to be about two milligrams, Dubé says, but can vary based on multiple factors, including body size and tolerance. The amount that's put into each pill is unknown. All it takes is to get that one pill that has a little more fentanyl in it than, than the human body can absorb, and that's, that's when we're seeing the overdoses. The toxic drug is also being used by the cartels to maximize their profits. From one kilo of fentanyl, you could make approximately 600,000 pills. At wholesale, pills are being sold for $5 on the low end a piece, up, in, up until around 10 to $12 a pill. Dubé added that fentanyl is responsible for more opioid-related deaths than any other illicit drugs. And we should also mention that according to the Centers for Disease Control, there were more than 70,000 drug overdose deaths reported in the United States in 2017. And the state of Florida was one of 23 states that saw a significant increase in overdose deaths from 2016 to 2017. Anthony.